first group of migrants who will be resettled in Croatia under an EU agreement is arriving in Croatia from Italy today. The group will be housed at the Porin Asylum Center in Zagreb until permanent housing can be arranged. The Interior Ministry has confirmed that Croatia is expected to take in 1,583 migrants in total. Croatia is marking three years of EU membership. So far, the results of membership are not particularly encouraging. In 2013, Croatia was at 61% of the European average in terms of development, and it is now at 59%, ranking only above Romania and Bulgaria. The country has underperformed when it comes to taking advantage of the money available to it from the EU's funds. Of the 10.7 billion euros Croatia could tap up until 2020, it has only drawn 1.6 billion. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague has decided that Croatia cannot pull out of the arbitration of its territorial and maritime dispute with Slovenia. In the court's view, only it can make such a decision. Croatia announced it was exiting the proceedings in 2015, arguing that they had been tainted beyond repair following a confidentiality breach by Slovenia. The court believes that there is no reason not to continue the case since the Slovenian justice who was responsible for the breach resigned in the wake of the scandal. Croatia has taken the position that it is no longer involved in the case. Representatives of the Croatian diaspora are meeting in Šibenik for a three-day conference. Among the 200 participants are members of Croat communities from around the world. Many are expressing their dissatisfaction with the way they are treated by Croatia and are demanding closer ties, better communication and better services. Marin Cilic is the only Croat remaining in the singles competition at Wimbledon. Croatia's top tennis player defeated Ukrainian Sergei Stakovsky 6-2, 6-7, 6-4, 6-4. He will play Lukas Latsko of Slovakia in round three. Latsko defeated Ivo Karlovic in the second round 6-3, 3-6, 7-6, 6-4. Croatia's 19-year-old Anna Konju, who was having a fantastic match against world number three Agnieszka Radwanska, but suffered an ankle injury at 7-7 in the third set to lose to the pole. Today's forecast calls for mostly sunny skies, especially on the coast. The interior will see some patches of clouds and there is a chance of local showers and thunder showers, mostly in the west, the mountains and in Istria. There will be light southwesterly and westerly winds on the coast during the day, shifting to a northwesterly by evening. The day's highs will range from 28 to 32 degrees Celsius. There is a chance of local showers in the interior on Saturday, although to a lesser degree than today. However, it will be hotter. A moderate to high north-northeasterly wind will pick up on Sunday, bringing temperatures down a bit. Cloudier skies with light rain are expected earlier in the day, with thunder showers in the east. Sunny skies are expected on Monday. On the coast, it will be mostly sunny in the coming days, especially on Saturday. The north will see a moderate to high northeasterly wind on Sunday. The nights will be quite warm and hot temperatures will linger in Dalmatia. There is a chance of local showers over the weekend, mostly in the Rijeka area and in Istria.